Hi everyone, it's Kimberly George. Um, sorry I look a little rough. It's been a long day. Um, did so much stuff, walked low key, and oh, I'm so tired, but I can't sleep, and it's just crazy because I got to work tomorrow at 11, and it's like 3:44 here. So, but now I want to give you a little um, history on explaining also from my breast implants to what happened to what I'm doing now with this fundraiser and trying to reach this goal. Um, to correct some issues. Um, I don't know, three years ago I had my first surgery, I did a fundraiser, everything went well. Um, of course, I wanna go bigger. I like the bigger, bustier, you know, look. I mean, a lot of people don't like that. It's just me and, you know, and then trying to get my face done as the biggest things I'm, you know, really concerned about. Everything else I can pretty much handle so far. Um, so I was at, I think, a 500cc saline implant and I think they overfilled it to 600, I think, is what it was. Um, I can't remember. I got it written down somewhere in one of those little cards they give you. But anyway, so about a year next, I don't know, a year later, I did a second surgery. And, you know, of course, they know what I wanted to do. I did the photos. I'm trying to, you know, reach this certain kind of look. And I got to get my skin stuff um, stressed out. I went under the muscles. So, you know, it just takes time versus, like, um, some girls get over the muscle, which, you know, it's like, um, I don't know, it's a little bit more fake feeling, like if you had a basketball underneath a t-shirt, which, but I mean, everybody, you know, has their ways they do stuff, like even going through the areola and everything like that to different incisions. Um, so don't, don't let me get too far off track. So I had a second surgery. Um, everything was fine. Um, I think they did an 800cc saline implant and I went to 900 20 I think um but you know everything was fine you know a little swelling and, and things look good and, but then I noticed like my left breast was a little different um and you know I was like well maybe you know there's you know there's some general things like you can get a capsule where your body rejects stuff you know it's that scar tissue kind of closing something in um you know, like simple things like that, or just swelling or something hadn't settled in, and then um, um, I was wearing like the baggy t-shirt, and somebody had said, is like your breast different? I was like, well, I just got them done, and you know, at the time, I thought it was just that, and then I didn't realize until I started really just kind of um, wondering, and then like one day after work, I was sitting at the uh, McDonald's drive through and I had the card with me, and then I looked at it, because it gives you um, information about the company, serial numbers, everything is written down, you know, all that stuff. Um, so I did that, and then I looked, and I was like, you know, because they, well, well, they gave me the card after surgery, but, you know, of course, I was really just doped up a little bit, and really was out of it, and just wanted to go home and go to sleep and just recover. Um, so I never did pay no attention to it, and nobody else did either, but, so I'm sitting to McDonald's one morning, and or right, I don't know, like two or three o'clock in the morning, trying to order something that just was bothering me, and then I, I had the uh, card in the in my car, and I looked at it, and I was like, it's two different implants. Like, um, one was a moderate style implant, the other was a high profile. Um, same CC, same everything. The only difference was somebody in the prep room did not read, and I don't know how these are stored when they get them off the shelves or wherever they have all that stuff. Um, just didn't read two letters. Everything was the same. And I have the card somewhere, and if I need to, you know, I can always post a video or post a photo or anything I can relate to if you don't believe me. Um, so I was pretty upset. I was like, this is why everything is just different. Um, so I called them up, the doctor's office, and said, hey, I messed up, told them all this stuff. You know, I had to wait a little bit of time, you know. Um, I think I waited like six months to eight months before I went and did another surgery. They was going to fix everything, um, no charge, no nothing. The only thing I just covered is hotel, and I really didn't want to push the issue. I just want to get it done and fixed. Um, so we went down there, you know, they was like, okay, we'll just take them out, um, put them back in, and, you know, everything should be equaled out, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, of course, and they know I want to go bigger and all that stuff. Well, um, so I had a little bad experience, you know, with all that. I mean, the doctors are great, but it's just, Somebody just didn't read the numbers on the little serial numbers and all that stuff because when you go in the operating room, you know, all that stuff sitting on the table and, you know, so whoever set all that up kind of screwed that up pretty hard. So they had to cover all that and give me another surgery. 
um, took them out, um, replaced everything. I wanted to go a lot bigger because I know they could have, but they only went like 40 cc's up, and I was really upset with that because I know I wanted to do these things, and I was trying to work with them, and, you know, I've already spent a lot of money with, you know, like the fundraisers, and a lot of people just helped me out, so, um, um, so, I was pretty upset with that, and, you know, I was like, well, why didn't you go bigger, and they said all this, and then the other, and I'm like, oh, okay, which I knew they was lying, um, and they could have done a better job, and then it's like, they just pretty much wanted to fix the surgery, so there was no other, any legal recourses, but, so, I mean, after that was done, everything was good, but the only problem was, or they had screwed up, like, the higher profile implant, and a moderate, Im moderate style implant, you know, and the way they did the pockets under the muscle, um, changed the direction. The nipples, like one's up a little bit farther, the, like the bottom of the implant, if you stick your hands down here, one's down here a little bit different, the other one, and like that placement is not just perfect. And I'm really having a hard time with that. And it's, you know, they look great in outfits and all that stuff, but I'm still self-conscious. And, you know, I'm trying to reach, you know, going bigger, but plus fixing this stuff and being done with it so I can move on to my face and other things that are pressing so yeah, it's been a big hiccup. I mean, like I want to do a lot of kind of sexy photo shoots, stuff like that, but I've just been really self-conscious with it. So it's been a bit of a struggle, me trying to be really quiet. I know I've psyched off on this YouTube channel like way too much now, and I'm really trying to change that so y'all can get to know me and just be honest with everything that I'm dealing with in life, like problems like this. Um, so hopefully you can understand a lot more. Maybe this will help you, or if you need to reach out, you know, maybe we can talk privately. Um, but no, I mean, so we did all that, the surgery is fine, it's the, after you heal and stuff, things were just still different, um, and then, like, the girl, my, my advisor, um, I really, I pretty much made her cry, I mean, I was pretty upset with everything, I'm just, just, you know, I just, a oh, good doctor, but I won't ever go back, I just, you know, they took care of everything, it still wasn't right, I think they could have better, done a lot better job doing stuff. Instead of just putting some implants in there, boom, you're done and out. Like, you know, I don't I, I don't need that. So I'm gonna go to Dr. Rebus. Um, he specializes in extra large implants. Um, he's a lot more pricier than I thought I could handle. Um I mean I've heard different things, but then he quoted me. And so he's seen my issues and you know, of course I didn't throw anybody under the bus doctor wise, but I was like, okay, this is why I'm here, but I know you did these porn star girls and I like their chest because I can see all that and I know what they're at with everything and they referred me to you um so I want it like this and these are the goals I want to reach and he can guarantee me some stuff he was talking about like um doing some like internal bra procedure and I really don't want to go into that I mean it's something to do with scar tissue and I just, you know I don't want to get I don't like the details and stuff like that but um so yeah, I mean, like, he is, you know, I thought he was going to be around seven. He's pretty pricey, but he's really good. And he's one of two doctors in the U.S. that I know of and heard about that specializes in fixing a lot of problems um, and doing extra large implants. There's a lot of people on my Facebook that had issues where they really had um, some serious problems and they had to go to him and to fix stuff. And, you know, their results were really good, so I was really amazed. But... He is about twelve thousand um, dollars. I got five, five thousand saved up. But so this is where I'm at with the fundraiser. I'm trying to take all this on. I don't have help. I don't come from um, a whole bunch of money and none of that stuff. I wish it did. I wish I had it easier. Um, I really don't date nobody, so it's just me working and just trying to figure all this out. I do want to do so much, but that's later on in the videos. So yes, this is where my blotch surgery come in, and this is me being honest, and you know, I know this is probably the best video I can do, but this is just me just wanting to make this so I can put it out there, um, and so you can understand what I'm going through. Um, I know my voice is all jacked up, it's, ugh, I don't even want to get involved with that, and smoking is bad, I'm trying to stop that too, so... But, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. I mean, like I said, you know, if you want to help me out, I'm going to do this website and or offer some perks. If not, you know, it's fine too. I mean, I work a regular job and just continue doing what I'm doing, saving. But it'd be nice to, you know, have a little bit of help along the way and for a good cause. And so I can give back to more on, on things I do and, and really get some things, you know, rolling with being different in life. And, you know, so I don't know. 
Um, but thank you anyway um, for everything I've ever done, for all the support I have gotten. And I hope you subscribe to my channel, like it, check out my fundraiser, and we'll figure out what happens next. I'll keep you updated. All right, bye.